Hey Alley Cats! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to Alley Cat Beauty. In today's video, I'm really excited. We are going to be doing a little haul. It was National Lipstick Day maybe about a month ago now um, and I bought a bunch of lipsticks from Sephora. They were all half off so I figured why not expand my lipstick collection a little bit and buy some shades that I've never really tried before. So without further ado, let's get started Alley Cats! Alrighty, Alley Cats, so as you can see, I have a box full of goodies here from Sephora. So I'm going to set it to the side so that I can actually like show you guys all of the products that I bought. Um, but there are nine lipsticks, I believe, that I bought, and then I made a few orders, so I do have some samples. So I'm going to go through the lipsticks first and show you guys what I got, and then I will go through the samples as well towards the end. So many lipsticks! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, there are nine lipsticks here. Um, and I am gonna start with the Sephora ones. So this one is the Sephora Lip Stories Balm in Do Me a Favor. So it's like this nice kind of peachy pink color. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. And then the other Sephora one is the Sephora lipstick, the Lip Stories lipstick in Hot in Havana. So this one is the one that I like really, really wanted to try. Um, Sephora brand is obviously a little cheaper than some of the other brands that were on sale. Um, so this is like a brighter orange color. Um, which I am really really excited about. I don't have anything like this in my collection so I'm excited to try that and then oh that's nice on the bullet it says hashtag cream so that one I'm also really excited about so that one's more of a lipstick and then this one is more of like a balm and then oh what do I want to choose I'll do this one so we have the Tarte C it's a Color Splash Sea Glass Lipstick in the shade Sunset Cruise. Ooh, so I really like the packaging on this one. It's like almost like marbled jade looking, but blue. So this is in the shade Sunset Cruise, like I said, and it's like a shimmery light brown which I'm so excited about. I also don't have anything like that in my collection, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then next we have the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in Bare. So I'm pretty sure this was one of the nude ones that I got. So it's nice and sleek packaging, but yes, so this is more of that nude shade, kind of like a pinky nude. So I'm excited for that. I do have a few nudes, but I wanted to try Becca Cosmetics, so I got it. Um, and then I guess we'll go with this one. So this is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, of course. Um, this is the plush matte lipstick. I think it's the type of lipstick is called Mademoiselle, um, and it's in Madame. So that is the shade. I also haven't tried Fenty before either, so I'm excited to try this one. Love the packaging, of course. I've definitely like seen this before on YouTube videos and on Instagram. Ooh, and it has like the imprint of Fenty Beauty on there. I'll try and do a close-up of that. But this is like a deep red, um, almost like a true red for my skin tone. So I am excited to try that. I don't have too many reds in my collection, so it would be nice to have this one and try it out, but that's why I got that red. And then next we have the It Cosmetics Pillow Lips Matte High Pigment Moisture Wrapping Lipstick. And this is in the shade Humble. I think, oh, this is interesting packaging. So it literally looks like kind of like a pillow, um, which I think is cool. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is another kind of like deeper nude. Yeah, so this is more of like a brownish mauve nude. 
so I am excited to try that one on and then of course it has it like imprinted in the bullet as well so I'm excited to try that one from milk makeup we have the just says lip color but it's a lipstick and it's in the shade new whip so just based on the package right here it looks like it's kind of like a deeper brown honestly since I ordered these so long ago I don't really remember all of the colors that I bought but I know that I got a variety so that I wouldn't just be getting the same lip color in all these different brands and formulas so this is the packaging it's nice and simple white packaging and then oh that's a magnetic closure I thought the Fenty Beauty one would have a magnetic closure but it didn't I'm not sure if it's supposed to or not but this one definitely has a magnetic closure and what I like is that it says the name of the shade right there on the bullet this one is ooh, this is like a deep chocolatey brown so I was completely wrong about this color I thought it was more chocolatey brown but it's actually like a deep deep purple magenta I don't have anything like that in my collection so I'm excited to try that one as well. And then from Melt, it's the Ultra Matte Lipstick in Voyeur, I think. I mean, it's obviously French and I'm saying that wrong, but that's how I think it's supposed to be pronounced. Voyeur, Voyeur, something like that maybe. This is the packaging for that. Again, it's very nice and simple like the Milk Makeup. So this is more like a tan nude but without the shimmer so almost like the I think it was the Tarte one that I had so I also don't have anything like this in my collection and I feel like I'm saying that about all of these lipsticks but I tried to get things that I didn't have so that it wouldn't be a waste of money um, and then finally we have the Urban Decay Vice lipstick I actually have one other lipstick Vice lipstick from Urban Decay and that one is in the shade 1993 so I really like that formula so I thought I'd try another one this is in the shade Disobedient the other one I have is a comfort matte formula and this is a cream formula this is what it looks like I just love the packaging for Urban Decay it's just very sleek and this one ooh, this is like a brighter pink which I definitely don't have in my collection at all I don't know why but I've like stayed away from pinks um, and tried to stick with like medium toned browns and nude colors just because they're neutral and I can wear them to work all the time and it's just easier to match my eyeshadow with them but I decided since all of these lipsticks were half off for that sale I decided to pick some more adventurous colors I guess you could say at least for me and for my taste for my collection so those are all nine lipsticks right here so I am really excited to try all of these lipsticks but let's get into the samples that I got with them real quick and then we will be done so for the samples I did get quite a lot of things you can when you purchase online you can get two free samples with your order and then oftentimes there are like promotions that you can apply so I did three different orders and I applied three different promotions and I requested the two free samples so I have six samples and then the promotional items so one of the promotional items was like a hair care kit so that's what this is it comes with this caviar anti-aging soothing smoothing anti-frizz blowout butter cara carastase carastase it's like a shampoo and a conditioner I think apple cider vinegar hair rinse from DP Hue, BY, oh better not younger sent a shampoo and conditioner as well there's a farewell frizz from Briogeo, an IGK crybaby anti-frizz smoothing serum living proof nourishing styling cream Mizani true textures curls coils waves perfect coil oil gel the Amica Flash Instant Shine Mask and the Bumble and Bumble 
BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. So this is like a heat and UV protective primer. So I have a lot of hair products to try out, but that was one of the, I think it was like with a purchase of $35, you can get all these products. So I definitely wanted to do that, especially because I'm not like super into hair care, but I do have curly hair. Um, and sometimes it does get a little frizzy, so I want to kind of get more into hair care and making my hair the best that it can be. So that was one of the promotions. Another one was you can get a Natasha Denona single eyeshadow. So this one comes in silk, so I'm really excited about that because her palettes are a little bit on the pricier side, but I would really love to try her formula, so I... Put that promotion in and then the final promotion was for a becca liquid highlighter this is in the shade i think it's in the shade passion but it's the becca ignite liquefied light highlighter and then for the samples i only really use two different foundations and concealers so i wanted to test out more so i got like a a lancome paris i think this is foundation yeah i think this is a foundation sample so I got that one and then I also got a Pat McGrath labs sample honestly I probably won't ever buy this foundation just because Pat McGrath is a little bit more on the expensive side maybe once I get a little further in my career I will be able to afford it but for now I just wanted to try out the formula see how it is I also got this Deep Sea Collagen Super Serum from Tarte. I really like their Tarte C line, so I wanted to try that one. I also got a Kors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser with pre and probiotics. I thought this was interesting, so I wanted to try it out. I'm always looking for a good cleanser. And then I got two of the Drunk Elephant F Balm Electrolyte Water Facial Mask Hydra Tint soak and revive. Oh, it can be used as an overnight mask. So I would say this is like hydrating cream or moisturizer. So I got two of those um, and I'm excited to try those out as well. Those were all my samples. Those were all my lipsticks. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which one you want me to try first. Also stay tuned for my video where I will be lip swatching all of these nine lipsticks along with all the other lipsticks in my collection. It's going to be a new series that I'm working on. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to get a notification every time I upload a new video, go ahead and ring that bell as well. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Alley Cat Beauty. And remember, beauty radiates from within, so don't forget to be confident and be you. See you later, Alley Cats!